Um, this is a game that I actually wanted to play for a long while now. Um, I've been watching it, so I'm really pumped to play it. Uh, it is Alone in the Dark, but this is the prologue. And, uh, I'll probably do a playthrough of the game when it comes out. I don't know if I'm going to stream it or not, but, uh, for now, I'm just going to do a video of the prologue because it's only, like, I'm assuming short. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. It's a remake of a game that, uh, I love from my childhood that I first played on PC, but also played on 3DO. I'm very excited to play it. Uh, let's get into it. Damn, those fluid physics. <laughs> what are you making? A creepy mask, of course. And these graphics look really good. <laughs> is that supposed to look like the character from the original game? Is that what it is? It does look like him. That's cool. Jeez, what's going on on the side of the door? Sounds like a cat having zoomies. Okay. Well, that is a camera. I can't wait to paint this. Gonna give it a big mistake. Big mustache. Okay. Uh huh. I guess you like dolls. You can knock everything over. Is there anything else I can interact with in here before we go and see what the big ruckus is about? <laughs> yeah, no. 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 Just no. What else can we interact with? Not my best work, if I'm being honest. Clearly. Oh, sorry, Teddy. Didn't, didn't mean to do that, bro. <laughs> Just kind of threw him there. Okay. Um, can we interact with like lights and stuff? No. Okay. Why do I have a feeling I'm going to get the crap scared out of me? These games were, like, ridiculously scary back in the day. Need a key. Gotcha. I like this animation, man. This is a nice-looking game. Look at that lighting. Okay. Noted. I guess we can't go that way. I'm assuming... And it looks so good. The sound is good too. Oh goodness, you scared me. What are you up to, Jeremy? I have to tell someone what is going on here. I have to try. You're not one of them, are you? Please tell me, Chris. You're not a spy, are you? A spy? Them, the others, all of them. No, you're too innocent. I'm too innocent. <laughs> I'm too innocent. I need to get this letter to my niece. She would understand. Just give it to the clerk, Mr. Waits, and he'll post it. No, he could be in on it. What if he won't post my letter? In on what? Make it look like it's one of yours. Here, let me do it. Emily Hartwood, Dauphin Street, New Orleans. You don't have the number? Not sure the postman's gonna find it without... Mm, those shadows are kind of scuffed. Fine. It's probably setting. I'll just post it myself then. God, the hair looks great. I'll just take this letter downstairs to the clerk's office. 
How are there so many books in this house and still nothing I want to read? That's a mood. Uh-oh, Cassandra. I'm touching your typewriter. Your typewriter. I love it. Who's the voice actor for this character? I wish Batista would drive me around all day. Maybe if I broke my leg. Is it an actual, um, child voice actor or is it an adult? I always find that interesting because a lot of times you'll get adults do, like, the, the kid voices too. And you can usually tell. There's keys there. Are they useful? I guess not. Man, the sound design in this, the graphics, everything is so good. Legitimately. Um, do I have to go through that door? This isn't going to be like a trial and error thing like the original game, right? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't wash your hands while you're holding a letter, though, would you? Cassandra should be more careful with her medicine. Who's Cassandra? Cassandra. Guess, I guess there's not any here. I expect things to happen, you know? That is a creepy sounding door, man. What the hell? Hey, that was a noise for a key. Damn. Sen sense of dread. Puzzles. They're so creepy. Yeah. They're pretty creepy. Oh, no. Jeremy, what have you done? Who's Jeremy? What has he done? Oh, they knocked one over, so I can't go that way, I guess. Am I supposed to, like... Is this going to be, like, a survival horror thing? I would assume, because that's how it started. I mean... These games are basically... The original... 3D survival horror. This kid doesn't find any of this weird. You don't find it weird. Ah, damn. That's... You're just gonna say stay. <laughs> Swamp monster jumps out. Stay. Like, what? Do I... I don't know if this is a good idea. Grace? Really, space bar? Yes, Mr. Bear. Thank you. No. Just no. Yeah, we gotta go. Gotta go. Thank you. Must go faster. Okay, so this prologue is gonna throw some scares at me. Okay. I wasn't... Sure. I suppose this must pale in comparison to the foyer. The foyer. You know the people that call them foyers, and you're like, it's not foyer, bro. Come on. Like, even the glass on that looks really nice. Where's the key? Hello? Yo, Tom, where are you at? 
I know the last name is spelled different. Okay, leave me alone. I'm just a huge Tom Waits fan. <laughs> Some climbing in. Yep. Man, if the prologue is, like, actually scaring me, then... The game itself is going to be terrifying. Because as stupid as these games look nowadays, they were really scary back in the day. Is that it? That can't be it. I mean, I know it's only a prologue, but like... So she Last got I dreamt the letter. Hung himself in the attic, but we were too late. Nice. The house looked different. It was still called Dorsetta. It's definitely a weird place. It feels like I've been here before. I just can't think why. Let's not waste any time, detective. Yeah, you're right. Let's go get your uncle's apartment. Damn, they look good. Oh, I guess that was it. Okay. It was quick. I expected kind of more, but... I mean, it's only a prologue. I'm not really complaining. Um, that had really good atmosphere. Uh, really good... Um, really good graphics. Really good sound design. Everything about this game is amazing. I've been following it for a little while and actually legitimately excited to play it. Um... I will be buying... I don't think it's out yet. So I will be buying it as soon as it comes out, definitely. Um, it looks so good. Yeah, I actually can't wait to play it. Anyways, if you uh, like the way it looks, uh, go wishlist it, definitely. Show some support to this game because they definitely deserve it. They got good voice actors. They got a good budget. They got the original creator involved. Like, what more could you ask for in a remake or a revisit? Anyways, um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Peace.